If you're watching this, I'm dead. You don't need that mask. I know it's you. Rachel Ghoul. You allowed this blasphemy. This sacrilege. Did you think you could keep it from me? Parlotrix will not save Gaza from his reckoning. Not now!
Unlike you, I'm not afraid of dying. I'd rather keep my humanity. be dead before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them. One by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. If you're watching this, I'm dead. This is a code black. This message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained. I know what's coming won't be easy. I'm leaving you the bell 
periphery of space of operations. Some of the technology is outdated, but it has the gear you need and all of my files. Many of you knew Bruce from Gotham's celebrity pages. A handsome, charming billionaire. And he was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. He was a protector to this city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. How's Alfred? What you'd expect. Took him three years to agree to a vacation and Bruce turned up dead. He asked for some time. He knows none of us were there either, right? What about you? You let Jacob Kane give the eulogy. He offered. He thought it'd be easier on us if he was the one to do it. He's Bruce's uncle. Hell of a speech. All that talk about a protector who works behind the scenes. If he only knew. Catherine wouldn't be there if she suspected. I can't see the anti-vigilante police commissioner presiding at Batman's funeral. There's something else she doesn't know. She has the body of Batman's killer in her morgue. Rachel Ghoul is listed as a John Doe, slated for cremation. And what if the League of Shadows finds him? If they drop their dear leader in a Lazarus pit, he won't be so dead anymore. You want to break into the GCPD headquarters for a what if? Be my guest. I decrypted the case Batman sent with his message. We should focus on that. I looked it over, but did I get everything? It doesn't look complete. I think Raish interrupted him while he was writing. He says this has implications that could shake Gotham to its core. Ominous, but not exactly helpful. I saw a few places we should poke around. Construction sites, a quarry. He also mentioned a Dr. Langstrom. Anyone know him? He's a zoologist at Gotham University. Not sure what his connection is, though. Let's divide up the work. We can meet at the Belfry when we're done. Get it up and running. Who gets to talk to Langstrom?
I'm at Gotham U. What's the story so far with this professor? Kirk Langstrom. Batman attached a half-finished file to his coat black. Langstrom must have been mixed up in something bad. Eyes open and ready for anything, then. ID on this faculty dude, Kirk Langstrom. Right. I'll call it in on the way to the morgue. Bad news. Langstrom is dead. Any idea where I can find his office? Langstrom's dead. Damn it. The note said his office is in Molten Hall, the third floor. Thank you. The balcony doors are open. That's my way in. Body cam recording. Here we go. The cops didn't spend much time here. Langstrom must have died somewhere else. These marks are suspicious. I wonder what made them. All I have is dead end so far. I feel like this might turn into something. You'd like it. I'm breaking into a lab. I always did love a good break-in. Even that night you accidentally tripped the alarm? Excuse me, that was you. I'll see if there's anything else to this lead. Stay safe. You too. This is a lot of damage. This is where Langstrom died. You'd think the GCPD would still be all over this lab. Looks like Langstrom was attacked at his workstation. He lost a lot of blood. He tried to get away, and then the attacker pinned him to the wall. Brutal. Langstrom spent his final moments crawling toward that cabinet. Why didn't he try to leave the lab? Holy crap, it's a hidden door. What were you hiding, Dr. Langstrom? The thermostat could definitely double as a keypad. Langstrom made specific note of these dates, and now I will too. If this movie meant something to Langstrom, the release date could be significant. A phone number. 
It's not a Gotham area code. Could be something. Langstrom's tablet might be remote access to the door. I've never seen a microwave like this before. Maybe it's for more than just late night burritos. That did it. Let's find out what secrets this guy was keeping. Something. Batman's dead professor was researching some real sketchy stuff. Langstrom's desk. What's this? That's a hard drive. Might have some answers. Better get this back to the Belfry. Hey, I think I'm done here. Cops cleared out quick. Missed some weird marks on the walls, and a hidden lab, with an even more hidden hard drive. Sounds good. See you back here soon. Someone see me? Teach them a lesson. I'm on it. Focus on torching this place with all that racket. Turn off the damn fire alarm up there. <laughs> Gotta stop these freaks from burning this place to the ground. Stay hidden. 
Are the fumes getting to you, buddy? Hey there. Smashy, smashy, smash, smash! Smash! <laughs> are on the way. What's your status? Just a lot going on tonight. I'm heading back now with Langstrom's hard drive. Finally.
back to the Belfry now. Hope you guys are ready. Hurry up. I want to see what you got. Nice work grabbing that drive from Langstrom's lab. Do we have any idea of what killed Langstrom yet? Hard to say much until these computers are up and running. Or we can examine the body, but for what it's worth, my gut says we're dealing with a who, not a what. Well, that makes me feel slightly better. Once we can get at the data, we can figure out what our next move is. I'm going out. I'm not gonna sit and wait for... whatever this shit is. We're waiting for intel, Jason. Once we have it, then we'll go. <sighs> move. I'm gonna solve this case my way. He wanted us to work this together. Whatever. It's making this harder than it has to be, kid. I guess, since we're waiting anyway, we might as well take another look at what Bruce had on Langstrom. Crap. That must have been the secondary breaker. The primary went out months ago. I thought the backup would hold. I got it. No need. I've put in a small fix that should hold for a while. Wasn't sure you were coming, Alfred. I'll always be here when you need me, Master Richard. When any of you need me. I'm glad you're here. As am I, Master Tim. 
This place does need work. Damn it. We've got activity all over the city. Sweet. Looks like my plan wins. Hold up. We still need the intel. And Alfred can't exactly set this place up alone. Indeed, Miss Gordon. I have a list of supplies we'll need. I could do it on my own, but it would be faster if I had help. You can count on us, Alfred. We'll divvy it up. Let's finish what Bruce started. Hey, Tim. How'd it go at the quarry? Not well. I sweeped the whole place and didn't find anything. No one's been there in ages. How are we supposed to see the full picture when most of the pieces are missing? Bruce left us one hell of a last case. I mean, what kind of person builds a secret lab in their lab? Someone who has something to hide, obviously. But what? What was he trying to make, and who is he hiding it from? Yeah, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's wait and see what that hard drive has to tell us first. Right. We'll get some answers soon enough.
Belfry here. Happy to report we're now fully operational. Before you head back, though... You got something, Belfry? The hard drive from Langstrom's lab requires a biodecryption key. That sounds like it's in his body, which is at the morgue. Indeed. With knights in Gotham as they are, it should be quiet at the station. Relatively. I guess I did want to see how Montoya was handling the new commissioner. I'll let you know what I find. GCPD. Makes sneaking into the station a little easier, at least. I guess I can't just ask the front desk where they're keeping Langstrom's body. The morgue's on the far side of the bullpen. Make sure the cops don't see you sneaking around. There's gotta be a sneakier way in. We got a few in Lotha. One collar and interrogator. 
Gordon, no Batman. No need for a bat signal. You still got bat need? I need bat. The piggy is on every day. I ain't got no trust left. Oh, man. Shut it, you weirdo. Piggy is on. I think you don't even know. So here we are again. We'll get to you with more gasoline. Burn it. No way, did. The morgue's somewhere on the other side of this bullpen. Now would be a particularly bad time to be spotted. Will you stop giving me shit? It's bad enough I'm writing a death. Pain got me in her sights. I need to keep my nose clean for a while. She's definitely overreacting. I barely hit that kid. Not my fault we tripped in. Close cases here. You want to play the figures? It's locked. In the wrong city. Guessing a higher clearance. Someone must have a key. The desk sergeant, perhaps. file. They make him sound so scary.
There you are. Got the forensics team? Keep your guard up. Whew, not dead. Trained you well. Pretty sure he told you to stay out of Gotham. Dead men's wishes don't concern me. Besides, I'm here to clean up my father's mess. Which in this case is the demon himself. You're just burning him? Might be hard to bring Raish back if he's Ash Talia. Even a Lazarus pit has some of it. Wait! Why was he after Bruce? Something tells me Raish isn't coming back this time. Langstrom. Hopefully the ME found something. You're looking... For measuring glucose in the blood, did Langstrom have diabetes? Is this for playing a game online? Imagine being allergic to something as delicious as seafood. It's amazing you can read oxygen through a finger. I won't make a joke about needing a tissue. <laughs> Blood would definitely be handy for biodecryption. He hit the data in a glucose meter that reads his blood. Ah, Belfry. GCPD just figured out Talia's been here. I need a way out. Way ahead of you. They're coming in heavy, so be careful. Wait, Batman never told me he had access to the GCPD systems. Now I guess I do too? And now, for my next trick... Ooh, you're good. I'm sneaking out of here. Entrance is secure. Spread out. We'll find the perp. Keep going. They gotta be here somewhere.
Belfry, all clear to exit the station. Thanks for the assist. Happy to help. Can't wait to see what you found. GCPD found me. Ah, oh, do be careful, sir. It really wouldn't do to chip the paint on the bat cycle this quickly. No, we don't want that. All right. Okay, lab notes, formulas, financial records, research into hearing loss, human experimentation and trials? That looks like cash payouts to volunteers. I recognize some of these jerks. They're all known gang members. So Langstrom was doing medical experiments on criminals. You're crowding me. Miss Gordon. The hollow imaging system is back online as of this morning. Perfect timing, Alfred. Hey, I forgot how sweet your setup was, Babs. It's ancient, but 